thinking on the way down rob yeah. how, when, when you get this kind of fog how does it work on a tour do you get a refund or <laughs> you stay close down to the sea that's the one yeah, yeah. we should say this was a, an idea born out of africa yourself and, and the beautiful amy were out there how does one begin to think do you know what i'm going to take this idea and bring it to ireland was, was that a long kind of talking to the night was it a few weeks of debate how did, how did it happen um yeah, it's a good question. It probably was over a few beers, right? And, um, but there were so many tours like Vagabond in Africa, you know, these kind of multi-activity adventure tours. And uh, as far as we knew, there was nothing like that back here. And I, I'm actually originally from Scotland. And so the idea was to actually go and set it up in Scotland. But uh, long story short, I ended up back here with Amy, which is great. Yeah. And so we set up Vagabond Island instead. So, so the idea was to have the kind of small group, the more adventurous type of tour, in a safari type vehicle and then throwing loads of history and culture and, and, and all the rest and that's kind of where it came from. So 2011 Vagabond Tours was born. Uh, 2002. Despite, oh 2002 there you yeah. go. Well despite the fact that lots of people sort of said to you this is crazy d d what are you doing d don't do this. <laughs> yeah no they did I mean there's it, this was back in 2002 it was the height of the dot-com boom there was a construction boom there was a retail boom and uh, you know I had this um, old Land Rover that I converted into a minibus and a company with yeah, a name with criminal undertones and <laughs> everyone, everyone thought I was absolutely mad so um, but yeah we kind of just about got away with it so far well that feeling too that, that with any new venture you know there's a certain amount of teething and all the rest but the award started to come pretty quick like in 2013 National Geographic there's been just recently of course another award but it, I don't know whether there was a point where you thought yourself and Amy okay we, we did the right thing here this this works yeah it, well the first couple of years like any business was really tough yeah, and it took a while to get off the ground, especially when you're uh, selling abroad. And we predominantly sell B2C, so we're going straight to the consumer in America, which is our primary market. So it takes a while to, to build up the trust. But things like awards make a massive difference to that, you know, to, to our credibility and rev great reviews and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, no, it really, it, it took a few years to get off the ground. And there were a few milestones along the way when we really kind of accelerated growth as well. But I would say, yeah, the best part, eight to 10 years really before you know we really really started firing on all cylinders i would say it strikes me as being just part of the of, of, of the fabric around here i don't know whether there was a an acknowledgement i don't know whether the local government gets involved or whether there's a sense that it, it all became legit because it is one thing to dream about such an idea and then to have it kind of in in, in everybody's consciousness but more importantly maybe just having it within the local kind of you know councils and all the rest yeah, councils, and of course, being in tourism, we have supports from Fulcher Island right. you know, and the tourist boards. So, so that's always been good, and we've always had a good relationship um, with them and various tourism organisations. So we've, you know, we have a, you know, a reciprocal relationship. We've we've benefited from from them, and, and likewise, we try and put a bit back into tourism as well. So yeah, that's always been a big help. You know, having a fairly dynamic tourism board is 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 definitely very helpful, and it, and Tourism Island to help us market abroad as well. So yeah, that's that's definitely. Um, help. I mean, I suppose what's ironic about Vagmon is although we're totally Greystones um, and Newtown and Kennedy based, mm. most of our business, most of our business activities are actually in the rest of the country. Right. So like our longest tour is 12 days. That goes up to Antrim and then all the way down the West Coast to West Cork and back. Right. So, you know, so we're actually we're spreading the love all over. As, as such. So there's been no great call for a South Beach tour yet? No. Not yet, no. 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 <laughs> it's a niche market. I wanted to make sure I got these numbers right, so I quickly looked at, at my notes. You've got 30 guides uh, operating, you've got 18 vehicles, you've got 10 people working in the office. Mm -hmm. it, I, I don't know if that's all kind of just a very natural organic or whether you get vertigo occasionally thinking, oh, okay, this is how big a, an operation we have now. Well, it certainly is, uh, you know, especially post-COVID. Yeah, you know, right. when literally everything ground to a halt and in 2020 we didn't do a, a single tour so we've had a massive rebuild since then you know and we've got a the vast majority of our team are now joined us in the last couple of years um and our office team is is different but we've got the best team ever you know and um it, you know so there's there's no complaints there but yeah i suggest the old team weren't great the old team, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> old team were amazing <laughs> They just get better and better every ah, okay, year. Okay, okay, yeah, I never exactly. sure what you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, we have Christmas party this year. It's going to be epic. Hey, we can't, we can't wait. So, how does one sort of plan for the future in regard to you know? There's a a lot of beauty, obviously, in, in mm. Ireland, and you've got to sort of consider, okay, how many places you know do people want to see? Sure. Does that n never end, or do you sort of feel well? There is a kind of an element of we know we know this country, we know what what works. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of both, really. So we we know which tours sell. In fact, pretty much all the tours sell. 
uh, it's about you know how many of each do you want to, to have available and um, but we're planning our tours now for 25 and 26 you know looking at what our allocations for accommodation are going to be how many vehicles we're going to need you know are we going to need a bigger office you know all this kind of stuff so we have to plan a long way ahead because I mean we've already got you know a good chunk of bookings in for next year right. so we're already starting really to plan to plan the year after and you know should we add extra departures that kind of thing so most of our tours are scheduled so every Monday and you know a set, couple of seven day tours and a 12 day will go out and every Tuesday to you know 11 day tours go out so it, it makes it easier for us to plan um, but we we'd need to be savvy because you know booking patterns change and, and over time so. so when it comes to you and Amy having a weekend away is it easy to relax or are you just looking around and thinking this could work actually I must think about this as a place to <laughs> yeah always always on the always on the look but, nice uh, yeah, yeah well we, we'll put together a little package about the South Beach for you we'll see if we can exactly, convince yeah, you to yeah. yeah and maybe the North Beach as well yeah make well, it, why make not it, make, it, make it a big day out a four day, day trip yay <laughs>